do and welcome to this in light tutorial so I recently did a retouch video so it just basically shows you how to make your selfies um, look cool take away all the blemishes from your face and that and like really um, really give your selfies sort of the model or the professional retouch look so I thought to go along with that I'm gonna show you how to um, make your teeth look brighter or whiten your teeth on the um, on the selfies themselves as well so it's very very simple very straightforward so i shouldn't take too much of your time so i'm just using this um, free stock image here with this um this person's mouth on it and all i'm simply going to do i'm going to go to um the little three bars at the top or i can just tap my screen to show my sidebar on the um on the side like so i'm then going to click image I'm then going to click adjust and then I'm going to go to tools at the bottom. So in my tools, once I'm there, I'm going to go to basic. And then once I'm in basic, I'm simply going to go to brightness, highlight the brightness so it's in blue. And then I'm just going to turn the brightness up, um, up to around, what, 50%. Um, I'm then going to do, um, with the exposure, I'm just going to turn the exposure up a little bit. Now I want this to be over the top initially and we'll tone it down later. So. Don't, um, don't panic too much. I'm gonna to go to offset and I'm just gonna turn the offset up a little bit as well. Now the reason I'm doing this much overboard is so I can see clearly where I'm going to fill the um, the white bits and I'll show, I'll talk more about that right now. So I'm then gonna to go to mask um, and go to clear. So all I've done is I've applied that effect within my tools and now I've cleared that effect. And you'll notice once I've clicked clear, um, I can't wipe anything away, so it's going to automatically highlight this apply for me in the bottom left hand side. So now I'm going to apply the effect that I've just ramped up in the tool. So when I was talking about the brightness and the exposure and the offset and I've turned them up, I'm now going to apply this to this image. So I've cleared it from the image, now going to apply it to the image. So I'm, to do this I'm going to zoom in really close and like I said, it will be over the top, but don't worry too much about it because we'll sort it out eventually. And then I'm just gonna, with my finger, I'm just gonna wipe around the edge of the um, of the tooth, um, and just colour each of the teeth in with this white effect. Just zoom out, zoom back in, and just, um, just do it carefully all around the teeth, like so. The one and don't worry about this if it's not too perfect when you first color it in it's not going to be um, but we can um, we can overcome that shortly and I'll show you we'll talk more about that as we go through I'm just filling the bottoms in and if there's something like I do this let's say for instance I make a mistake I can click the back button so it will undo my last effects but if I just want to wipe see where it's on the lip right here I just want to wipe it off. I select the wipe in the corner. And I just wipe that effect off. Remembering to select apply again. And then I'm just, and that was very rough. I'm doing this, I'm not doing it um, with any great care. So, um, and the less you zoom in, the harder it's going to be to try and stick to the lines or to try and highlight or whiten the areas that you're intending to whiten. But so if you zoom, if you don't zoom in as much as I'm zoomed in here, don't expect the um, the effect to be um, exactly where you want it because it simply won't be. So with anything that you're going to apply, sort of um, coloring round within light like so, um, you have to be patient, and it does take a while. I've seen some people comment on some videos um, where I've sort of applied this effect and um, well, not this effect but an effect similar to this and they've said oh it's not as easy as as he makes it look it is as easy as I make it look you just have to um, just have to give it time and um, if you do it rough if you if you don't pay attention to to detail then you're not going to get the effect that you want to get but if you take your time and um, and zoom in where you need to zoom in, then you will get the effect that you want to get. 
So okay, so you see that I've really, really brightened these teeth now if I if I um, zoom out a little bit. So now what I'm going to do, because this is a little bit over the top, I'm sure you'll agree. I'm gonna go back to tools at the bottom. I'm gonna go back to basic. And now I'm gonna re um, re reorganize or rearrange these, um, the way we've got the offset, the exposure and the brightness in order for this to look um, a little bit real. So we can just turn the offset down a little bit. So we, we're sort of in the minuses now, but you still see it's quite bright. And if I click the little um, boxes, two boxes on the right hand side, so it shows me how the effect was when I started or how the image was when I started, you will see the difference. And um, I'm sure you'll agree that it is, is quite a good effect, but I'm just gonna turn the exposure down as well a little bit. So if we turn the exposure right down, we've got these black teeth. Um, if anybody's, you know, sort of a Halloween effect there. Um, I'm just going to turn the exposure down a little bit. And now brightness, again, I could go down, down, down with the brightness and have this horrible effect like so. But I'm just going to turn the brightness up a little bit just to give it... So I've turned my exposure down. I've got minus on my offset. And then I'm turning the brightness up to give it not this effect, but this realistic effect like so. And if we can see what we was before and after, you can see that... We have gone maybe um, two or three shades whiter, but we could come up a little bit more, I suppose. And then you will see that we've gone another sort of shade whiter. Let's just come up with the offset a little bit. And then you can see we've gone massively whiter from, from there, you know, um, lots of shades whiter. So I'm just gonna click the little tick button on the um, top right hand side. I'm gonna save this effect out. So I'm gonna save that photo. And if I go back now um, to how we was, um, and you can see what we were like. And I will um, I'll put these on the screen and sort of display them side by side so you can see for yourselves the effect that we have indeed got. So I hope this, um, I hope this tutorial um, helps you out in, um, in your retouch or your, um, your smile images. And um, thanks a lot for watching.